Welcome to the introduction to the Rockboard Mod 1 Paddleboard Patch Bay. Today we're having a look at the features of Mod 1, which will make your paddleboard life just a little bit easier, simpler and more efficient. Let's start with the basics. Mod 1. It does not require power, it's a simple through box. Everything that plugs into the back comes out in the front of the corresponding connection, and vice versa. Also with the new Mod V2 series, we have decreased the height of the housing to 33mm and made the front plate detachable. This allows for easier mounting on non-rockboard paddleboards. The most useful part of the Mod 1 are probably the 5 TRS connections. These can be used to route your instrument cable connections through to the front of the board for easy access. Say you have some pedals you want to use before your amp and some in the effects loop of your amp. Connect the input to the first effect that will go before the amp to any of the TRS sockets in the back. Let's use A for this example. Then connect the last pedal's output to the back of B. The front of A will connect to your instrument and the front of B goes to the input of your amp. For many setups this will be all you need. If you want to run effects through your amp's effects loop, you can do it as follows. Connect the input of the first effect that goes in the loop to C and the output of the last one to D. The front of C will then connect to your amp's send and D to your amp's return jack. The remaining ETRS connection you can use for example for a foot switch to remote control your amp's channel from your board. If you have an effect with an XLR output, for example a bass preamp or the iBox, you can hook it up through the XLR output to directly go into the mixing board or audio interface. For routing power through from the front underneath your board, Mod 1 has an IEC 3 pole and a 2.1 x 5.5 mm standard barrel through connection. For connecting smaller power supplies without an internal transformer such as the Rockboard Power Block or ISO Power Block V10, you can use the barrel connection. Connect your power supply to the back of the mod using a barrel type power cable such as the Rockboard Flat Power Cables. Then connect the power supply's power adapter into the front and plug it into the wall outlet. Now you can hook up your pedals to power. For larger power supplies that use power directly from the mains, connect the power supply to the female connection in the back. For this you will need a jumper cable, such as the Rockboard Power Ace IEC connector cable. Then plug the power supply's included power cord into the front of the mod and connect it with the mains power. Now it's time to power up your pedals. For a quick recap, here is a schematic setup drawing that illustrates the use of all connections. 